What's up guys, my name is Nate Meyer and today what I'm gonna be doing is <clears throat> overhauling the steel MS390. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna dual port the muffler mod, fix this broken handle. So I wanna give you a before and after sound. Safety first. I've already warmed the saw up, so we're just gonna give it a rip. <laughs> Are 516ths usually used on a quarter inch drive. So, before I went ahead and cut my slits, I marked them off. If you can see them, they're kind of marked here in pencil. I'm going to cut the bottom one, middle, and top one, and then I'm going to bend those fins so that my exhaust port doesn't go up to burn my plastic and doesn't go down to kind of melt my plastic body as well. Okay, so now that you have your muffler off, what you should be left with is your muffler, your flash screen your muffler tip, three bolts, and three washers. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and begin my grinding. I'm just using a Milwaukee cordless angle grinder. And now you can see, got my lines cut. I'm gonna go ahead, finish grinding those out, and then I'll end up bending the fins. All right, so what you should be left with is I have my nice three little slits. I went ahead and did the edges to help me uh, bend it whenever I put the flathead into it. So now that I've got the fins placed the way that I want, I went ahead and bent them, straightened them up a little bit. On the inside, you should see a nice straight flow. And from the side, what you should see is the fins are pointing up so the exhaust is going away from you. So next what I'm gonna do is set that to the side. I'm gonna bring my muffler in. It's nice and rusty. I'm gonna drill roughly two 3 8 holes right here. And then I'm gonna get to the baffle on the inside and I'm gonna clean another shot through there. In order to do that, I'm just switched out in the head on my die grinder. I'm gonna lower my speed and use this. So now I'm just kind of looking at how the overlap's gonna to fit together. If I keep my screen, what I should be able to do is line it up with my new face. And then what I'll be left with is a much better breathing saw. So now I'm just putting the muffler and screen back in place, making sure I have my keeper washers. Again, using a 516 scatter. Nothing too crazy. Okay, so this is right after I've done the modification. I haven't adjusted or tweaked the carb yet. I know that I need to increase uh, the high jet. So let's go ahead and give it a rip. say it's just a little bit louder um definitely a lot quicker on the throttle response i'm going to tweak the carb and then i'm going to go out and run it <laughs> 